Like there's got to be a there's got to be a level. There's got to be something that shakes people from this stupor that they find themselves in. Have you seen this? This and thing was I so said in the mogul mail that I think the ad rates will return by December uh and and they'll be all the way back uh in a year. I was wrong. The ad rates are already back. Here is a view uh, of because uh, I had some actual streamers reach out to me after I made that video, after their because you know some people just their ad rates got cut. Non political people, I think a lot of people are under the impression that the only people whose ad rates got cut are people who cover the elections or political people or whatever. That is not the case. It isn't like a blanket punishment. It seems to be somewhat uh, random, but but you can see here. October 20, whatever this is, 3rd until November, whatever this is, like 11th. So, you know, about a three-week period, maybe a little under. Uh, Did you just say a bunch of shit without any research? He's a repeated shit from Reddit? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people do that, and it's sad to see because this month actually has a journalism degree. This streamer who shared their data with me uh, lost basically all their ads, you know, 80% cut in this timeline. All right, and and he said I, I could share it. This is uh this is Ray's fire. I don't know if you guys know Ray. Uh, he's a he's a he's a variety gamer, speedrunner, uh, not not a political guy. Uh, I know as a yeah. So pirate software. Oh wait, what's up? He's in chat. Anyone that had a tag that was sexual, political in nature, ASMR, Iran, were caught up in this due to association with geopoliticals and sexual content. I know that as a fact is true. But there are also people who I think are none of those pirate software who also were affected by this. And this is the example I have. And I look, I'm telling you right now, although he is get good at Super Mario Jamboree, there was no sexual content there. Okay? Yes, Rosalina's a bad bitch. I agree with you on this point, Thor. Me and you are the same. We both think Rosalina's a bad bitch. Having said that, that is not the reason I think his ad rates got cut. It seems to have affected some other people. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know how. Because you you said you weren't affected by it. Did uh, Lud not ask you about this at all? Not even a little bit. Like not even a hey. Uh, do you know anything about like this adpocalypse stuff? How it started? What's going on? Like I didn't even know that he made a video about this until I saw people yelling at me. Until I saw people yelling at me that I uh, that he had made a video about this and that I had somehow I had somehow stopped him from you know or made him delete a part of the video or some shit like that, which is once again a narrative that like just only exists on Reddit and people are so invested in it like people just straightforwardly believe it like genuinely you will never be able to convince those people that that is not what happened and it's so crazy. Hassan Anon is real. Bro always snubs you. He's like a weird friend of me. No, it's fine. He probably, I get it. Like, I understand why he, uh, you know, probably didn't want his uh, opinion on the matter to be tainted or tarnished. People develop fanfic before you knew about the vid? Yeah. I'm reminded of the time when I was in Australia responding to a chatter that was saying something, something dumb. And I was like, I'm going to myself. Okay. And then getting my Discord messages clipped out of context and then having like the entirety of Twitter, including Tim Pool, talk about my downfall and how I had actually, uh, you know, I was falling off and then I was on the verge of real. I had no idea that this was happening. Okay. I had no idea that this was happening until people reached out to me, like people that I know in the real world, like Big Mike called me and was like, bro, is everything all right? I saw on Twitter that you were like going to, and I was like, what? That's one of the most like obvious instances where like, it truly doesn't matter what the real world looks like, what the actual truth of the matter is. And what matters is the narrative that people want to create. And I think a lot of people when they're faced with the reality still don't want to, you know, they don't, they don't want to be reasoned with. They just want to continue along with this narrative that I had uh, objectively fallen off. It's so great looking through old Reddit threads. You can clearly see how unhinged Destiny's community is, even from a neutral POV. Yeah. And it's very weird. It's a very odd circumstance where, like, 
people would come and debate me in my chat to be like, no, you actually do want to. <sighs> I was like, I didn't even know that this was going on. I wonder if there is a level of like, I wonder what the tolerance is that people have for just being consistently wrong. You know what I mean? Like there's gotta be a, there's gotta be a level. There's gotta be something that shakes people from this stupor that they find themselves in. Like maybe it's, um, maybe it's a uh, multiple post saying like, no, the apocalypse isn't real. People are clarifying or whatever the, f I don't know, but it is very strange. Uh, but this is an example of someone who, who was M maybe he had some wrong. Maybe he threw on a political tag while playing super Mario party jamboree. Um, but fact remains even the people who were affected, which I don't know how many people were, because Twitch has not said a word on this, their ad rates seem to be back. They, they seem to have returned to normal. So, presumably it'll still continue to affect, you know, with the tag system, the people who are making sexual political content, as it should. But it is no longer affecting the people who I think were at least inadvertently affected. That's how I phrase it for them. And that's pretty much it. Seems to be back. Seems to be a little bit back. But yeah, anyway, I, I basically made one big of my mogul mail. I made my mogul mail for streamers who are confused or concerned why their ad rates were going down. A lot of people wanted my mogul mail to be the root cause of what started the adpocalypse. Brother, I'm not selling those waters. I'm not sailing those waters, okay? The only bay I'm going to is the pirate one. You get me? I'm not sailing those waters. Uh, and so but I rewatched my video and I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to make. I, I, I stand by everything I said in that video. Even the Mizkiff rephrasing, I don't think was that bad, but he was upset by it. So I don't mind removing it because it didn't add that much to the video. And that's it. And that's it. And I move on to what I am on this earth to do, which is play League of Legends. We all know it's Hassan's fault anyway. Legends at a subpar level. We have more drama. Ah, uh, we're not done. We are not done. Uh, there is more drama. Because this streamer, uh, or I should say this YouTuber, because I don't think they're on Twitch. But I don't know if you saw, they've been calling me out a lot, all right? And they've been making a lot of videos about it. And I'm here to uh, finally make a reply. Phoenix Girl, day 301. Okay, I was worried for a second. I was worried for a second he was going to go into some other shit. The Din Cells did it again with your Discord logs that you were asking for screenshots against your ops, but instead you were looking for lame screenshots of your workout stream? That's so funny. I mean, I, I don't think that stuff has any sort of real prominence. You know what I mean? Like, that's so... Th yeah, I was yelling at my... I was yelling at my Discord for not sending me f screenshots of my workout stream where I looked hot. Din cells.